Campaign manager Danny Parrish of Fort Worth met with reporters to explain how he had gotten possession of unpublished pictures of candidates Bob Folsom and Gary Weber. The pictures had been used in television campaign spots until the Times Herald was notified by both the Weber and Folsom campaign staff. Times Herald attorney sent candidate Ludwig a letter saying he was violating copyright laws by using the pictures. The letter demanded the spots be taken off the air and that the pictures be returned to the paper. Today, Parrish told reporters he didn't think he'd done anything wrong. He said he had gotten permission from clerks in the paper's picture file room to look for any pictures he wanted. Parrish says once he chose these photos, he left the file room and went to the photo department to get copies made of them. Did the clerks know he was taking the pictures? Yes, yes, they knew exactly. They looked at them, what and I commented, the told them that I was going around to the man who I had talked to who had told me to bring them around there so he could find the negative numbers to print them. And when I left there, they had no reason to believe that I wasn't walking right around what to his negative, office and then to return it. But according to both the Times Herald and Parrish, the clerks didn't know what happened next. Parrish says he intended to get copies of the pictures for a taping session that same afternoon. But he says when he got to the Herald's photo lab, there was nobody there. And the taping session was rapidly approaching at the station. So I let put the photographs back in the file when I couldn't find them, went to KTVT with the photographs, used them on the taping session.